saw some really cool motorized bicycles on YouTube and I was kind of intrigued so I did a little research and found that on you can get these uh, Chinese uh, motor kits to motorize your bicycle on eBay so I ordered one cost uh, they cost anywhere from 120 to 200 dollars depending on you know the quality level you go for I think I've spent 130 on this kit um, I ordered a silver one the guy sent me a black one with uh, some damage as you can see there uh, so I contacted him and he was lucky he was nice enough to send me uh, another one but unfortunately he had a little damage uh, but that's okay I'm just gonna swap out the covers here and uh, remove the black paint from the cover and I'll have a complete silver one intact here's the uh, hardware lots of uh, doodads and knickknacks we'll cover as we assemble this uh, motorized bicycle It's a Cannondale uh, aluminum frame. It's one of the early models uh, back in 94, I think I bought it. You'll see in a, a little bit here when we go to try to mount the motor, uh, maybe aluminum frame is not the best choice uh, for these kind of kits, but we'll cover that. Here you can see my first problem for mounting the motor. My uh, down tube, I think it's called, is uh, two inches in diameter. So I went out and I bought a uh, larger U-bolt for mounting the motor. It still has trouble uh, fitting over that. So I decided I would try my spindle sander on my uh, drill press to try and grind down some of the shape, make it fit. Unfortunately, that failed. It just wasn't grinding enough of the metal away, so then we went to the die grinder, and that did the trick. We're doing a little uh, dry test, seeing how it, where it's going to fit on the frame, marking the frame, just to kind of get an idea of what point, what, what point I'm going to mount the motor. Here's the U-bolt uh, and uh, motor plate that came with the original kit. Here's the larger U-bolt ground down a little bit on the inside edge. And now I need to make a larger plate. Uh, I have some uh, plate aluminum here. So I just drew out the shape, measured out the hole sizes for the motor and uh, for the U-bolt. And go to my trusty metal bandsaw and start cutting. Time lapse a little bit here. It doesn't, it doesn't quite cut quite this fast, but get the idea. There's the new uh, motor plate. Uh, you can do the drill the holes on just a regular drill press, uh, but I have a mini mill, so it just makes it a little bit easier to control the speed of the cut. And put some cutting fluid on it. And, uh, this is fairly quick. Parts of when I'm cutting something is the, the nice uh, threaded cut off there. I don't know what this uh, is called, but it's pretty cool. And there we go, we're mounted on the motor. And you see right here the uh, bolts, the through bolts from the motor hitting the frame, so simple fix. Get the Dremel out. One of the mounting parts for the back part of the motor to the, it goes to the up tube to the seat or the seat tube. Just to try to a grinder to grind aluminum, which is a bad idea. It doesn't grind aluminum at all. So then I had to go to a file to make again my my the tubes the the seat tube I think is an inch and a half instead of a more standard inch size. And then I had some uh, nice rubber thick chunks of rubber. I got these in Japan of all places. Uh, 
just cut them up real quick into little chunks and, and make uh, good absorbing material for the motor mounts. This was just some thin rubber here. On the front motor mount, you can see I have a little bit larger chunk of rubber between the motor mount plate and the bicycle aluminum frame. Really helps to absorb some of the engine vibration. Okay, the next step is the muffler. And I ran in, luckily the uh, pedal just misses the motor. There's just enough distance there not, a, not to have any problem. But as you can see, the muffler is a serious problem. Uh, the pedal hits the muffler right in the middle of the muffler, so I'm gonna have to bend the muffler. So I made this jig, clamped it into uh, my vise, bolted uh, the muffler to it, and I'm gonna get some uh, propane. Start heating it up from both sides to get a good even heated temperature. Time lapse this uh, section up here and uh, just start bending the muffler. It got pretty darn hot. And this is the first uh, bend. As you can see it still hits the uh, pedal. So I'm going to have to bend it a second time. This time I, I bend it, uh, heated up the section a little bit further up just so I could not stress the metal uh, uh, too much further. I can bend it here and uh, we'll get a good fit. This time it's uh, plenty of space.